Welcome to Celebrating God's Grace, a Women World Leaders podcast. I am your host, Lauren Dean. Thanks so much for joining us today as we celebrate stories of what God is doing throughout this ministry, our lives, and the world. We have been celebrating so many answers to prayer. We've had leaders share answered prayers for healing and provision that we have been praying for alongside them, and so many more ways in which God has moved through our prayers. Prayer is a vital part of this ministry. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17 says, Pray continually, and we are constantly praying and constantly witnessing God's answers to prayer. We have a prayer leader and a prayer team that devotes themselves to various prayer requests every day. We are so grateful for her and the entire prayer team and each woman who joins us in praying. Earlier this year, after our monthly prayer call ended, our prayer leader called me to follow up on an email request we had received from a woman who was looking for a prayer partner. Our prayer leader connected her with a woman on the prayer team, and right away, these women were in touch with one another, praying with each other, and sharing what an unbelievable blessing it was for them. The joy she had in sharing this news with me was contagious, and we celebrated together in God bringing these two women together as prayer partners. Psalm 66 verse 19 through 20 says, But God has surely listened and has heard my prayer. Praise be to God who has not rejected my prayer or withheld his love from me. God hears every word we say to him. Isn't that incredible? We don't get to decide when or how God will answer our prayers or what the answers will be. He has his own time and purpose for everything. It could be a yes, no, wait. It could be in a different way than we think he should. But he knows what is best for us. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 8 through 9 says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. The power of prayer is in who we are praying to, God. We see prayer all throughout scripture, and Jesus models it as an essential part of every believer's life, both in praying alone and with one another. This is how we talk and listen to God. He wants to hear about the big things in your life all the way down to the smallest details your needs, your thoughts, your desires, and he wants to pour his truth into you. He is longing for relationship with us. We have all sinned, which has separated us from God and broken our communication with him. But God has good news for us. Through Jesus Christ, he has made it possible for us to have a relationship with him. Jesus Christ died on the cross in our place to pay the price for our sins, was buried and raised to life again. Anyone who turns to God and puts their faith in Jesus Christ is reconciled with God and can communicate with God. This is God's saving grace. Romans chapter 10 verse 9 through 10 says, If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. 
For those of us who know Christ personally, we are to rely on prayer daily to connect with God. Prayer deepens your relationship with God and leads you into the path he has for you. We all need prayer. It is our lifeline to God. So let's read together Colossians chapter 1, verses 3 through 6, and verses 9 through 14. We always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you. Because we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love you have for all God's people. The faith and love that spring from the hope stored up for you in heaven and about which you have already heard in the true message of the gospel that has come to you. In the same way, the gospel is bearing fruit and growing throughout the whole world just as it has been doing among you since the day you heard it and truly understood God's grace. For this reason, since the day we heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you. We continually ask God to fill you with the knowledge of his will through all the wisdom and understanding that the Spirit gives so that you may live a life worthy of the Lord and please him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God, being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might, so that you may have great endurance and patience, and giving joyful thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of his holy people in the kingdom of light. For he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the son he loves, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for the woman who is listening right now, Lord. Lord, just the fact that they are listening right now is an answered prayer. We have been praying for each person who would hear this message, Lord. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 says, Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. You know her need, Lord whether it's salvation, physical healing, financial provision, or whatever is on her heart today, Lord, let her receive mercy and find grace in your presence today, Lord. Bend our will until it aligns with your will, Lord, and let your desires become our desires. No matter in what way you answer our prayer, Lord, we will trust in you. And Lord, if there is anyone listening right now that doesn't have a personal relationship with you, God, we pray that they would come to believe in their heart that Jesus is Lord and speak to you, Lord, right now that their faith is in you, Lord. Lord, thank you for our prayer leader and our entire prayer team, Lord. Thank you for the opportunities you give us to love one another and you by praying for one another and praying together, Lord. It is such a blessing. We give you all the honor, all the glory, all the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. If you are in need of prayer, please visit our prayer wall and leave your request there. Or reach out to us at info at womenworldleaders.com and we can connect you with a woman who will pray with you. Thanks for listening to Women World Leaders Podcast. Join us each Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as we explore together God's extravagant love and your courageous purpose. Visit our website at www.womenworldleaders.com.